Hi, you guys. My daughter wanted a Barbie party for her sixth birthday. So I decided to DIY her a decorations and her cake. So I want to show you guys how I made her Barbie dreams come true. Go ahead and watch this video to see all the DIY projects and how everything came together. Guys, I'm going to be starting on the Barbie box. You cannot have a Barbie party without a Barbie box. So I'm going to be attempting to DIY the infamous pink Barbie box that we've seen. You know, obviously Barbie come in and a lot of people use for Halloween as well as birthday parties. I found a lot of inspiration on Pinterest and watched a couple of YouTube videos. So I do have a um, box that is about three feet tall. Let me show you. So my kids did draw on the box. Ignore that, we're gonna paint right over it. But luckily this box has a front and back because this box is a little too short. So what I'm gonna do is cut one of the boxes in half and tape it on top so that it meets about a four and a half inch um, height so that the kids can fit inside of it. So let's start cutting. So now that I have my box, like the size that I want it to be, I have the piece I cut off of the other box to fit on top of here. I am going to cut the end of this off so that it just makes one big box. And I'm going to have a four inch border all the way around and then I will be painting this box. I'm moving closer to you and it's getting dark in this room. Tell me what you want to do. Let me, let me love you. So I traced out my border and I am going to just start cutting along the line with my scissors because I cannot find a box cutter. Obviously a box cutter would be best to get cleaner lines, but I'm gonna go ahead and just use my scissors and go down like this. So well, instead of tape guys, I'm gonna try to hot glue my box where it is the two pieces to put it together. I'm gonna try hot glue because I think it'll be neater and look better than what tape will look like. The glue on the inside, stick it together. Okay guys, so the hot glue gun worked really well. It actually stuck so much that I couldn't even pull it apart. I wanted to pull it apart to make it a little taller, but it's not happening, it stuck so much. But that's a good thing, at least I know it's not gonna fall apart, right? So let me show you guys. So here is my Barbie box. I'm hoping my daughter is not taller than this. I don't think she is, but but I'm gonna go ahead and paint it now because I think it might need at least at least two layers of paint. So I want to get the first layer of paint on, let it dry, and then paint again. So let's do that. I did do a haul and everything I bought from Hobby Lobby for um, the bar Barbie party. I got this paint from Hobby Lobby, and it is in the color magenta. So this is what I'm gonna be using to paint the box. Let me go not now. Now, are you saying that to change your mind? Guys, I am going to paint the inside of the box, just in case you can see it in pictures, as well as the top of the box here I'm going to paint, um, and then obviously the sides, because that's definitely going to be visible, so I'm just going to paint those, and then I'm going to let their first coat dry. Okay, the box has been painted twice. I am just waiting for certain spots to dry up top. Um, but this is what it looks like and I'm going to just hot glue down here the words Barbie going across I got my letters cut out already so guys I cut my letters out to go at the bottom of my box down here I just freestyle out hand drew it by looking at a picture on a picture on Pinterest I am just going to be using this super glue gel here that I got from the Dollar Tree and put it on. Okay, here we go. I laid it out on the floor to make it a lot easier. Laid the letters on there for spacing and then I'm just gonna make sure they're all super glued on there really good and we'll be good to go. So while I was looking for um, Barbie inspiration and Barbie items on Amazon, I ran across these centerpieces and I put them in my cart to order. And then as I was going over everything, I was like, wait, I can make this myself. So I'm gonna show you um, how I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna use the Barbie heads and I'm gonna um, trace it on some cardstock paper and glue it on like the fluffy puff balls. And those are gonna be the centerpieces. So let's go ahead and start doing that now. 
You guys see little feet and little hands. They're trying to assist me. But the Barbies are cut out. I have a, a smaller one. I'm gonna do three smaller ones for the centerpiece. And this big one is gonna be for her cake. And it is, move your hand, Jace. Go on this side. So what I'm gonna do is um, put the Barbie heads backwards and trace them so that I can cut it out this way and they'll be flipped on the other side. It'll be the correct way. And I'm just going to trace those and cut them out now. We ain't got the time Tell me now if you want out What are you saying? Come on and spit it out I'm about to lose my mind again How did you stop the Okay guys, so all of my Barbie heads are cut out I have two big ones which are going to go on top of the cake So I'm going to glue these two together so that it's glitter on both sides no matter which cake way the cake is facing and I'm going to um, put it on one of these sticks here and it's gonna go down into the cake the stick will be glued on the inside obviously so you can't see it and then I'm going to make my center pieces with the three smaller heads I have so this is the smaller head and the bigger one so cake and center piece and I'm going to glue the heads on these pom-poms here um, so that these will go in the center of the table for a little centerpiece action. And also guys, I made these little bows. I got the ribbon from Dollar Tree and I just tied it into a bow and I'm going to glue that here on Barbie's head so she has a little, you know, bow action. You know, our girls love their bows. So I'm going to glue that there. It's gonna be super cute. to my garland somehow we'll see garland i got from hobby lobby comes with this strip so it makes it easy for you to attach your guard or your balloons to it and you can just cut it to your desired length so i'm going to go go ahead and start attaching this so i can get to the end so you just pull it through the holes and then slide it there's a big hole and then a tiny hole you pull it, put it through the big hole and then slide it over to the small hole to secure it. And that's that. It does suggest that you like skip certain holes if you need to be. And then I'm just obviously going to put different colors and different sizes next to each other to give it some variance and some depth to the garland. <laughs> 